Hey, I thought it would be easier just to kind of like show you real quick as far as like uh, what's going on right here in QuickBooks. And uh, right here on products and services for V73 LLC, I've so far managed to get the uh, these coffee rolls right now. So I got the Brazil 16 ounce, 8 ounce, Colombia 16 ounce, 8 ounce, the Mexico 16 and eight ounces i'm going to be putting the the rest uh, in in a little bit it actually takes a little bit uh to input all this but as you can see i'm putting down these the the 16 ounces the which is the pound at 20 dollars a piece and uh right now i'm saying that we have 20 on hand uh the reorder part is going to be when we get down to like the three pounds it's gonna automatically give me a warning that we're running low on uh on those uh, on those coffees uh, one of the things that I have not, I have, I gotta figure this out first of all it, it's if because uh, being that we are buying the coffee and coffee is pretty much volatile it's gonna change so for example like maybe today the coffee on Brazil may run like you know four dollars a pound or three dollars a pound. Uh, but later on, especially with economic hardships and environment hardships, that price may change. So right now I'm leaving it at zero um, because I'm going to have to ask the accountant what's the best way for something like coffee to be able to, to um, something that fluctuates, you know, how can I keep the, the fair market values uh, uh, going with the, with the sales price and all that. What I'm hoping and uh, with, with um, once I set this up, as you can see, this is under the products and services uh, tab here. But once I start doing this and we get our, 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 our card reader and our point of sell system going on that people, when they come over, it'll be, it'll be simple, you know, when, especially when we do the website too as well, all of this is gonna be linked to the website if we go through Amazon, Amazon's gonna have the same, the same. Uh, um, in other words, the, when the numbers and figures change here, it's gonna change on Amazon. It's gonna change on eBay. If we do eBay, and uh, so if a customer buys two bags, then uh, or twenty bags, so and, and wipes us out of the Brazil coffee, then automatically it's gonna tell all the other systems like, hey, we're out of coffee. So that way, um, you know, people don't overbuy. We can always come around and tweak tweak the the numbers here and there, depending on um, on how much we have on stock, and uh, also as far as like how much things are getting moved. But right now, to kind of to start out, we're having like minimums set set in place for these. Uh, right now, so far, that's all I have. As you can see, there's a ton of information. Uh, on QuickBooks, I haven't gone through all of them just yet. I'm lear I'm barely learning as much as possible on them, uh, but it's very informative. It's very robust, and uh, once I figure a lot of these things out, we will be able to generate reports and and uh, do all kinds of good things that come with the with the QuickBooks application. All right, I just wanted to do this and let you guys know what was going on.